Supermodel Leticia Castor turns 46 years old this year. She was born in Pontordum, Normandy, France, on May 11, 1978. French model and actress Leticia Castor was born as the second child in a simple family of a French woman and a Corsican. Later, Leticia had a younger sister. Given the roots of her father, the family spent a lot of time not only in Normandy, but also in Corsica. With studies at school at the girl everything was not very successful. She clearly did not have the stars in her classes, and the constant comparison with her brother, who showed better results, only added to the child's worries. Castor got her lucky chance in her father's homeland. While vacationing with her parents on the island, 15-year-old Letizia accidentally took part in the Miss Lumio contest, wearing a funny fishing costume. Her half-childish spontaneity and rare natural beauty attracted the attention of the director of the modeling agency Madison Models, and he sent the girl an invitation for a photo shoot. Strict father did not approve of his daughter's desire to try her hand at modeling and for a long time then accompanied his precious little girl to all shootings and castings. Making her debut in 1993 in an advertisement for guest denim, Letizia was instantly loved by the public, and soon appeared on the pages of the prestigious Ellen Glamour, Cosmopolitan and Harper's Bazaar, Vogue and Sports Illustrated. At 18, Castor was already a leading Victoria's Secret model, shooting for famous photographers her Brits and Annie Leibovitz. A short time later, the muse and friend of Yves Saint Laurent was the face of Yves Saint Laurent, Chanel Allure, Baby Doll, Cacherel Promise, Givenchy Forbidden Flower and other fragrances. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ralph Lauren and Lolita Lempica were happy to invite Letizia to represent their collections. For ten whole years, the beauty was the face of the famous cosmetics company L'Oreal Paris. Castor did not consider it shameful to shoot nude and, unashamed of her beauty, appeared in an advertisement for Nina Ritchie Lexte's fragrance in bed scenes, in French L in a wet translucent tunic and completely nude, sitting on a rock. Castor has also gained fame as a theatre and film actress. In her filmography roles in the comedy Asterix and Obelix vs. Caesar, in the dramedy Airy Benistai Blue Bicycle, in biographical films Gainsborough, The Love of a Hooligan and The Perfect Palace of Ferdinand Cheville, in the comedy romantic drama Honest Man. For her role in the film Born in 68 in 2008, Castor deservedly won the title of Best Actress. Fans of TV series have had the opportunity to appreciate the acting talent of Letizia in the mystical drama Island and melodrama Through the Horizon. The public and critics liked her work in the theatre in the plays Ondine and She's Waiting for You. For her role in the film Born in 68 in 2008, Castor deservedly won the title of Best Actress. Fans of TV series have had the opportunity to appreciate the acting talent of Letizia in the mystical drama Island and melodrama through the horizon. The public and critics liked her work in the theater in the plays Ondine and She's Waiting for You. In 2016, Castor managed to surprise the public again. She unexpectedly wrote a script for a short movie. The movie titled En Moi, the story of a lonely director's struggle with doubts and fears, was shot and presented at Cannes. Castor has not officially married for a long time, but during this time she gave birth to three children. The father of the eldest daughter Satine became a photographer Stefan Sednawi. Unfortunately, the relationship did not stand the test of fidelity. Son Orlando and daughter Athena were born from another father, Italian actor Stefano Accorsi. When feelings cooled after ten years, the couple broke up. In 2017, the celebrity finally, finally, entered into an official marriage. With actor Louis Garrel, younger than the bride by five years. The celebration took place in Corsica, the homeland of Letizia's father. On March 17, 2021, the beauty gave her beloved husband a son as L. Back in 2009, the celebrity's name was added to the Encyclopedia of Roses. And this is a great honor for the flower. After all, not every rose is as beautiful as Letitia Castor, a symbol of divine beauty.